Hello everyone, today I am going to create the model of this hyperbolic paraboloid by Felix Candela. In this video, I am going to show you guys two methods to create this form. In the first method, the end result looks like this. But if you look closely at the structure, it has a slight curve right here. So by following method number two, you can gain this curve, which is right here. So. Open new architectural template file. Go to meshing and site. In place mess. OK. Now insert an image on level 1 floor plan. I am going to import the top view plan of the hyperbolic paraboloid by Felix Candela. Click on reference points and place the reference points at these corners at the center point and three reference points each at this curve Now go to 3D view, select the three reference points of the arcs and set them at an offset of 35 feet 0 inches. The reference points will now move at the Z axis. Select the reference point at the center and place it at an offset of 28 feet 0 inches. Now select this reference SP line and connect the connect these reference points as shown in the video. Now select the reference line and connect the reference points as shown. The reference line structure looks like this. Now select this reference SP line in these two reference lines and click on create form. Repeat this process on the other two sides as well. The mess is now complete and it looks like this. You can also move the reference points even when the mess is complete. Click on finish mess. Go to meshing inside, click on wall, select a 6 inches wall and click, and click these surfaces. Now select this whole structure, click on mesh at here and place it at an offset, place it at an elevation of 5 feet and then delete this mesh. So now you only have walls here. As you can see by following this method, there is no curve at the top surface. Now I am going to follow method number 2 to create this structure. So open new architectural template file. Go to meshing and site in place mesh. Go to insert. 
and import an image the same image as in the method number one and place it here in the level one floor plan now select the reference points and place a reference point here at the center then again at this corner also place a reference point at this area same as here then at the center of this arc then somewhere at this area again place a reference point in between these two points After placing these reference points, go to 3D. All of these reference points are, are at 0 feet 0 inches. And now we have to provide offset. So select this reference point and place it at an offset of 35 feet 0 inches. Now select this center reference point at the center and place it at an offset of 25 feet 0 inches select that reference point and place it at an offset of 30 feet 0 inches now go to top view of 3d select this reference sp9 and connect these reference points as shown in the video Now click on reference line, make sure 3D snapping is on and connect these reference points as shown. Now select all of these reference lines and reference SP lines. And click on create form I am going to move this reference point a bit downwards so that it has a more curve Click on finish mass, go to level 1 floor plan and insert the same image. This mass has a curve here but we need a straight line so I need to subtract it. For that I am going to messing inside in place mass and I am going to create a second mass. So select the line make sure the 3D snapping is off and Draw the lines as shown in the video.
make sure these lines are closed and then click on create form go to the elevation and move this mass so that it is it has more height than the previous mass so now click on finish mass click on cut then select this mass 1 then mass 2 and now it is connected together by a straight line now go to massing and side select wall select a 6 inches wall and then click on this surface delete this mass number 2 and you can see that the wall is not created at the curve it is created in a straight line Now select this wall, click on rotate, copy and then place the rotation point at this point and then rotate it from here at an angle of 120 degrees. Again select this wall, move the rotation point here and then rotate it from this point to this point the 3d is now complete and it looks like this this method has the slight curve which is needed at the top I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. Also watch my other videos as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.